In today's video, we are pairing Grammar Stola Rosea. First off, we started off by taking the mature male out of his old enclosure. Now this guy, he matured about six months ago and he has made his sperm web. So he's completely ready to go and ready to meet the female. Now we did pick up the female at the last invert show we went to, C's in Brighton. So she is ready. And here she is, the female in question ready to meet her mate now she is a mature female obviously otherwise i wouldn't be breeding her so the first thing we need to do is introduce the male into the enclosure now i am fully expecting a standoff as that's what happened with the gramostola pulchropes if you watched that breeding video it took a little while for them to get going but you never know it may be a quick affair and it may be over and done with now this is a species that i have wanted to pair for a very long time and when i got a mature male i raised this one from a teeny tiny one centimeter sling getting a female was absolutely on my highest agenda so to pick this girl up was amazing because this breed in here is a life long dream come true now the male is in the enclosure he doesn't look like he knows what he's doing but you know these animals they are amazing they do automatically know what to do i guess he's just feeling out the new enclosure and sensing that the female is there here he goes he's on his way over i guess he's in the mood Hopefully there'll be a lot of tapping, there'll be some courtship going on, but we'll see. I have got my tongs ready, because, you know, if you watch the Chromatopelma cyanopubescence breeding, I don't want it to end up like that. If you haven't seen it, make sure to go and check that video out. It is, it does give you a good idea on the bad side of what happens during breeding, and, you know, it's nature. You can't avoid it. So the male is slowly making his way over to the female. I haven't seen any vibrating or any tapping. So I'm not sure whether he's just feeling things out, whether he wants to pair with her. But this happened in the Gramostola Polkropes video. There didn't seem to be any <clears throat> signs that they was going to do it and the female turned around and that was it they was off so maybe that's what's going to happen now he's edging closer she knows he's there oh and they're off see no vibrating no tapping and the male has pinned her back i am ready with the tongs because i really don't want this to go badly now i can't see if there's any insertion going on hopefully there is hopefully this will be successful i am gonna let them go at it a couple of times <clears throat> hopefully if she doesn't munch him if she doesn't eat him he's doing a great job he's really pushing her back so he can get them petty palps in oh is it be careful wow he's really going for it now here i am with the tongs oh and they've sort of separated yeah it's just she's getting a bit aggressive so time to back off <laughs> he wants to go again wow let's see if we can get a better angle of what's going on Let's just leave them to it. Let's see what happens. Those fangs of the female are stretched out, but he's not being put off. He wants to go again. This is phenomenal. It's so mesmerizing to watch these animals when they're, when they're pairing. There he goes. There's the insertion. 
He's doing a brilliant job. I'm so proud of him to have raised him from a tiny one centimetre sling to see him fulfil his life's purpose and actually pair with a female. That's what I'm in the hobby for. Wow. Is he going to try and go again? Or is it worth splitting these two up? Letting him take a break. Letting him catch a breather. And then maybe in a week or so introducing him again. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave it there. And separate them, I think. Yeah, it looks like they're done. Well, anyway. Thank you for watching the video. I will do an update on this one. And let you know in time if there is a successful egg sack. Hopefully there is. They will go on sale to all channel members. Oh, he's so cute. This is so awesome. But yeah, anyway, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to go check out the other breeding videos that I've done on the channel. Or in fact, any of the videos I've done on the channel. Because if you enjoyed this one you're more than likely going to enjoy them too and if you're feeling really generous please make sure to subscribe to the channel because we are reaching 5,000 subscribers so to get there that would be awesome I really appreciate it thank you